Hello there, I'm a member of the training team, and today I'm going to show you how to create a new XDoc from the Docs tab. Click on the Docs tab in the travel card to open it up. From here, you'll click on the new XDoc button and select the template by clicking on it. You can filter for the template that you are looking for in the template text field, and filter for the data with updated in the updated column. You can also use the tags menu in the upper left hand corner of this window to find the XDoc that you're looking for by category. Click on the XDoc you would like to work on to open it up. You can begin filling out the form inside this tab. If you need to return to the previous view, click on the return arrow, which is the last item on the left hand side of the screen. You can click on the ID number on the far left hand side of the screen to return to that form. Once you are done filling out the note, you can click on the sign off and submit button. If you have signature types configured, pick one from your signature types and sign off. The PDF button on the XDoc opens up the XDoc in PDF form. You can print and download an XDoc in this format. You can click on the Rename button and a window will pop up for you to rename your XDoc. Type in the new name that you want for the XDoc in the Name field in this window, change the service date if necessary, and then click on the OK button. The View Log button lets you see every timestamp regarding when the XDoc was saved. The Save Macro and Load Macro options allow you to store the information that you entered in copyable fields in the XDoc, and then retrieve that information to be used in another XDoc. To reach these options, click on this icon towards the right hand side of the screen. For example, click on the Save Macro button here to create an XDoc macro. A small window will pop up. Enter a name for your XDoc macro in the field, and then click OK. I'll clear out some information in this XDoc to show you how this works. To retrieve that data if you need it later, click on the Load Macro option here and you will see a list of options in this window. Click on the name of the XDoc macro, then the arrow next to the name of it, and then the saved values in the fields in the macro will appear in your XDoc. Edit or delete any information that you need to from the macro that you might not need in your form. Now there are a few more things to help you use this tab that I should mention. You can enter a date range in the search fields and then click on the magnifying glass icon to initiate a search by date for a certain document. You can click in the date range to type one in or use the calendar icons to initiate a search. Let me show you now an even shorter date range so I can better show you how this works. Now that's a little bit narrow though, so I'm going to put it back to about here. I'll leave that here for the rest of the video. You can use the search filter dropdown to narrow your search down to a certain item or a group of particular items. Select the checkboxes here to narrow down your search if desired. We can put them back. Click on the play button to see the next XDoc available for signing. The fast forward button is located between the return and the save button. When you click on this button, it lets you mark this note as not ready to be signed off. You can indicate the length of time that you want it put aside for, including for now, an hour, for a day, and for a week. Click somewhere outside of the menu to deselect it. You can click on the return arrow on the left hand side of the screen to return to the previous view. The print icon will open up in a new window for you to print it out. You can use the Action button and the Split Note button to make an editable copy from a signed SOAP 3 note. This is primarily useful for when a patient comes in twice in the same day. 
This feature is used only for SOAP nodes, not Xdocs. The copy button creates a new Xdoc that is a copy from the Xdoc selected. This button allows you to change the service date and make a copy of the note that can be edited. This is useful since you can create a copy of an old Xdoc, change the service date, and edit the existing information as necessary on the same patient's current visit. Please note, on most XDoc templates, the data is set up to carry forward automatically when you create a new document using the same template from a previous visit. This is the ideal way to save time when filling out XDocs. You can have the XDoc team set up autocopy so that when you create a new XDoc for the same patient, the fields pull forward with the same information every time. In case the template does not have this feature turned on, you can use the copy button as a temporary solution as the way to handle situations you need the data to carry forward and normally you would not. The edit button allows you to enter a note that you have selected and edit it. You can also open one of these notes by clicking on the blue medical record on the left hand side of the screen. The send fax button opens up the send fax tool. Please see the Send Fax help page for more information on this tool. The Add Addendum button is for adding addendums to existing signed off notes. You can use this button to use a different XDoc template to be printed out in conjunction with the original note. You can use the gear icon to select whether or not the XDoc or SOAP note fills up the entire tab or opens up in a new pop-up by selecting the Fill Travel Card With checkbox. If you want to be able to use the Travel Card buttons here at the top of the page, along with the XDoc, then select the Use Travel Card Action Buttons checkbox as well. You can have both checkboxes selected at the same time. We recommend this configuration since the system works best with both checkboxes selected. You can also have neither checkbox selected or only fill travel card width selected. The items count counts each individual line of this tab. To delete XDocs or other items from this tab, select the checkboxes here and click on the save button. Well that's all there is to this video. We hope that you found it helpful. Goodbye for now and have a great day.